Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So this is what I eat in a weekend. Today is Friday. Um, so good morning. Hope you're all um, well and once you've watched this I hope you've had a lovely weekend. So I'll spin you around and show you what I'm having for my breakfast. So for my breakfast today, it's now nine, nine days till Christmas, I have got my last portion of rice pudding. This is two A choices and one sin. Then I've got um, strawberries, um, raspberries and uh, a plum and half a banana. And then I have got um, two sins worth of the Sweet Freedom Caramel Syrup, which is a tablespoon for two sins. And that's what I'm having for my breakfast. And then just off camera, Woohoo, here it is. Um, I've got a black coffee with a capful of the Skinny Food Co. Um, cookie dough um, syrup in it. I've got to say I'm really impressed with that. Um, so that's my breakfast and I'll see you later on. So this is my lunch. I've used the leftover rocket. Then on top I have got one of these, these Sharwood chicken jar fraise. Um, they're one and a half sins on Slimming World. So I've got one of them and then I've topped it with some sweet peppers and then sprinkled it with some chopped chives. So that is my lunch for today. So it's been a busy afternoon. Chris finished work early um, and Grace is having a bit of a sleepover with her best friend. So she is at her best friend's house and then me, Chris and Max um, went out for the afternoon when Max finishes school and I wanted to pop to Poundland because that Poundland have got the pumpkin mugs in and, and I've seen Emma's um, like channel, I've seen Emma is that she's been using hers and I'm like, I really, really would like it. However, my Poundland, being my Poundland, hasn't got them in. However, they've got some other little bits and bobs, so I thought I'd just show you. I didn't get much because they were just putting it out. But the first thing I got was this cute little glass. So I think that'll look cute with some orange juice in. Um, so I got that, that was a pound. All of this was a pound. This candle, which is like shaped as a cauldron, it was um, caramel apple. It doesn't really smell of anything, I'll be honest. I mean, it's not unpleasant. There's just, you can tell it's, I've bought it mostly for for this pot. Um, so I'm gonna burn the candle. Then once that's all gone, I'm gonna wipe it all out and then just use the cauldron. And I, I thought it'd be really nice to like fill it with some little sweets. Um, yeah. Then I got this little guy, it's a ghost and he lights up. Let's see gonna pull the thing out oh it's quite bright actually how cute is that they did uh, they did uh, can't speak they did this in like frosted glass as well oh that's so cute I love it so that can go on my Halloween little table then I got some pumpkin decorations um they're just these like honeycomb shaped um for my, my Halloween table what I like to have up have out and then I've got these pom-pom garland um, which are really cute um, there's a oh, what's that company called is it Miria Miria M-E-R-I M-E-R-I um, and they they were selling this for £8.50 and um, so I got I got this so I'm quite happy with that to put it out and then the last thing um, for my rice pudding all my um, porridges in the morning I got these I absolutely love these Whitworth's um shorts the berry and white chocolate is my favorite I also like the pecan one toffee and pecan and um, I think the five sins a pack um and I'll be honest I only use half a pack just just to top it on to uh like a onto my rice pudding or me um, porridge in the morning just to add that bit of judge to it and that that is I think I got from Poundland um obviously I got some chewing gum for the car sugar free chewing gum for the car but that's in the car um, I'm going to put this with all my other little Halloween decorations um yes so I'm going to have a bath and whilst I'm having a bath my tea is in the oven um I'm having a fake away tonight I'm having a Chinese fake away I've got some salt and pepper chips with mayflower um, chicken curry boiled rice and then lots of salad to go with it i'll plate the salad up first so that it reduces how much else i can put on the plate um 
But overall, I've had a really, really good day. Absolutely loving it. Hoping that you've had a really good day on the 100 day challenge on plan. Lots of you have been in contact to say that you're doing it. And yeah, it's just amazing that we're all together and we've got our, this, our main goal. Um, yeah, it's just lovely. So I'm gonna pop, pop this away in the cupboard, go and have a bath, wash my mop, and um, go and have my tea afterwards really looking forward to it so this is my evening meal i've got a large speedy salad with a, a tablespoon of the aldi sweet chili sauce on top which is one and a half cents i've got boiled rice which is free on the plan i've got some slimming wool chip basically a potato chopped up fry lighted and then when it's come out i've added chopped chilies and um, garlic to it to make like salt and pepper chips then I've got Mayflower um, chicken, which is four sins um, for my sauce, and the chicken is free. And that is my evening meal. I cannot wait to dive into this. So my evening snack is one of these Galaxy Milk Chocolate Moments. They are three sins each. I'm going to have an um, easy peeler with it. Then I've got a black coffee with a cup full of the Skinny Food Co. Um, cookie dough syrup inside. So that's everything I'll be eating for Friday and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and happy Saturday. Um, so today is going to be a very, very busy day. Um, so currently it's 8 o'clock, so I'm going to go and get Grace from her little sleepover from her friend's house and then go and take her dancing. I'm going to have a black coffee with my friend whilst we wait for the girls to finish off dancing. And then I'm going shopping with the girls today. I'm so excited for it. Um, so. I'm going to get my rolls and not have anything for my breakfast, but I've generally just not got time to do that. Um, I might, you'll know anyway, but I might, I hate doing it, but I might like find like a healthy extra bar kind of thing just to walk with it, just to say that I've physically had something to eat. Um, but I don't like using my a B choice for two bars, I just think it's wasteful, just because it doesn't, it doesn't fill me up. Um, I should have been a bit more organised this morning, but that extra 10 minutes in bed was just worth it, in my personal opinion. Anyway, um, if I have anything else to eat, then I'll let you know, um, and um, you might come along with a little bit of a journey. 98 days till Christmas. Um, I am, I'm gonna have an Alpen light bar. Um, so this is part of a healthy extra B, or it's three sins. I'm gonna class it as three sins. I think it is three sins. Correct sins will be on the screen. Um, I'm sure it's three sins. Um, so, oh. So I'm going to have that whilst walking to get Grace for, for dancing and then to dancing. So I hope you have a lovely Saturday. So my evening meal tonight is some speedy lettuce and then I've got some dried noodles um, which is free. And then I've got some chicken which is free. I've got green beans and peas. Um, green beans are speed, peas are free. And then I've got 28 grams of uh, Mayflower curry sauce which is split between two of us. And I cannot wait to dig into this. Good morning it's sunday so yesterday was an extremely busy fun day so i spent the day shopping in leeds um well we went to country baskets which is basically a shop or wholesalers where you can get lots of lovely stuff from um, my mother-in-law used to have a shop so she knew about this wholesalers so we went there but also now um public can go you just need a card um, and it's absolutely incredible the savings you make in that place is insane and um, I did have a lot of restraint I didn't buy loads and um, I could have it was easy it was easy enough to do that um, but I was pretty good and then from there we called off at um, Castleford um, Escape and we had um, a coffee, I had a coffee at Starbucks, a black coffee with sugar-free caramel syrup in it. Um, the rest of the girls, so uh, my sister-in-law, which um, is Vicky, some of you have subscribed to her channel, uh, Miss 18 Dapper. Um, we and my mother-in-law, Michelle, and then obviously Grace, um, they had something to eat and um, I just had a black coffee. I was so on plan, it's unreal. I was a bit I was too much on plan, can can we say, because I didn't eat anything. I had that Alpen bar in the morning and then I didn't have anything else until my evening meal, which was that uh, Mayflower chicken curry with noodles at my in-laws house. 
Um, and then as soon as we left there, I went straight to bed because I had a headache, which is understandable because I'm not eating enough, I'm not drank enough. So my own fault, but I just didn't want to be sidetracked off plan. So um, that's what I, that's the choice I made. Anyway, excuse what I look like today. Today is another busy day, another homey day. The children um, at uh, Cannon Hall Farm with um, their, uh, with my in-laws with their nan and grumpy they've gone there for the day um so that means and the hubster is working today so that means i've got a full day um on my own which i am going to neutralize and work from top to bottom sparkling at my house i'm doing a massive clean and i cannot wait to do it actually um, because sometimes cleaning when you've got children around is like eating oreos and brushing your teeth at the same time you probably be able to relate to that some of you and um, so as you have heard my microwave just gone off i'm just making some breakfast and um, but what i was going to do is show you in here what i got so i'll show you the food bits there's not a lot i got these from castleford and i'll when i go upstairs i'll show you what the other bits and bobs I bought because they'll be staying upstairs um, until I need them. So I'll spin you around and show what I'm having for my breakfast and also I'll show you what I got in my little foodie haul. There's not much. You probably won't be able to see me but hopefully you can. Um, so the first thing I got was these. These I got in the American store. They are the mini, mini in they are the Millions Multi Pack Mix. Um, so it's different flavours of like the little Millions, everyone knows what they are. Um, and they're all individually wrapped and these are 66 calories off three and a half sins on Swimming World. And you just wanna know where you want that like treat. There's a fly in my house. Um, where you want that little like sweet treat. Um, I absolutely love these. Um, so I've got a pack of them. Grace got herself some cookie dough bites, the birthday cake one. She is obsessed with these. These were 2 99 which is a little expensive, but it was a little treat, so she got them. And then finally, I got airheads. Now, I adore, adore these. Um, I've opened them up for you to see what they look like. Um, you can get these on Amazon if you've got any, like, USA sweet shops around. You'll probably find them there. They're like... Um, they're just a very sweet, like chewy, as the Americans say, candy bar. Um, and there are only three sins on the Slimming World, or the 60 calories each, and I just absolutely adore them. Um, and they come in a variety of flavours from orange, blueberry, grape. Then you get a mystery one, there's a watermelon one. And yeah, so I picked them up and they were too nice and a little expensive, but I absolutely adore them. And then my sister in law to be, Vicky. Um, as we were at my our in-laws, she surprised me with this. So this is the pumpkin trio. Um, we've got the pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin spice, and pumpkin caramel. Um, coffee syrups. These are free on Summer World. If you only knew the cat full after that, um, they do say to sin it. Uh, and she treated me to this because to say a thank you for shouting out her channel, which I didn't do for anything else. Just that um, she inspired me to do a video. Um, from one of her videos and yeah this was absolutely lovely so very much appreciated if you are watching and um, I have told you in person how much appreciated it, it is so I'll spin you around and show you what I'm having for my breakfast so this is my breakfast for today so what I have got is 40 grams of the apple and cinnamon oats your way and um, this is a healthy bee choice I've made it up with water then on top I have used half a packet of the whip Whitworth's shots, berries and white chocolates. These are two and a half sins for half the pack and I've got them on top. Um, I've got my food shop coming today, hence why there's no like speedy stuff with it. However, if you are using a healthy extra B, you don't necessarily have to have speed food with it. It's advised because obviously that stuff's gonna fill you up longer, um, but it's not necessary. So um, I'm gonna tuck into this with a black coffee with some Skinny Food Co. cookie dough syrup inside of it. So I've done all my cleaning now and I feel so much better. It's nice to have perfectly clean and tidy house i just feel so organized and yeah two hours it's talk and i've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it worked up a sweat um, so i've just changed my clothes um and now i'm ready to show you what i've got before i go and make something to eat and then my food shop delivery should be coming within an hour so i'll start off with some clothes 
uh, clothing items. I have a very, very talented mother-in-law indeed, and she has one of those wonderful things called a Cricut cutter. You know what I mean, if you're a crafter, you know. And she's made me this t-shirt. It says, Hocus Pocus, how cute is that? Oh, I just absolutely love it. She just knows how much I like things like this. So I can't wait to wear this in October time. Ugh, perfect. The actual original t-shirt is from, um, what's that place called? Matalan. And I, she got it in a medium and it was six pound, but obviously she put the design on herself. We went to um, Castleford Escape um, place and it's an outlet store and um, Gap obviously is closing down and they had is it 70% off everything? Um, so I picked Grace up these like very, very bright pink leggings with like pink flecks in them. Um, these are not to wear out. She wants to wear these as pyjama bottoms. She's got some like oversized t-shirts which she absolutely loves wearing and she likes wearing them with like um, oversized leggings. So these are a bit bigger than what they are but she absolutely loves them. These should have been 12 99 and I got them for three pounds. So perfect to um, go with some pyjamas. Then we went into the next clearance store and Grace picked this up and it's a funky beanie hat in a deed. And um, she absolutely loves things like this, which are that a bit like out there. Um, and she just looked proper funky in it um, with her hair down at the side. Oh, she just rocked it. And it was seven pounds, so it was a bit like, and they did have like a tag on to see if it had been reduced. So when we got to the tail, it was £1.50. I was like, yes. So she's very, very happy with that purchase. Then, this is just weird and strange. And this is how sizing is to pot. Um, Grace picked this item up thinking that it was her size. Um, but actually it was a women's dress. And it's a size 6 women's dress. Um, so there we go. A women's six it should have been 38 pounds originally we got it for 15 pounds and it's this gorgeous dress with big puffy sleeves and she's got she's gonna wear it with some black grace don't wear tights um some black leggings and then she's gonna wear like she's got some biker boots and then her leather jacket for like autumn time um, so yeah, she absolutely rocked this. They ha did have the changing room open, so she tried it on and it fits her absolutely lovely, like really good. Um, and yeah, it, I've got to say the sleeves, I, um, we, we're tucking them in because they fall a little bit like funny on her arms. So we're just gonna tuck them in. Um, but when she's wearing a leather jacket with it and some biker boots, she's gonna proper rock it. And I thought, oh, that's lovely for autumn. And um, so I got that. And the next items are from Country Baskets. Um, and let's just dig in. So the first thing I got was some pull bows. Now, if you've watched my channel a while, you know that I absolutely love these things. Basically, you get one of these out and it has two little strings and you pull it and it makes the perfect bow. And um, I wrap my presents, Christmas presents, like for family members. Um, Santa obviously wraps the children's in paper, which they know is Max's or Grace's. He's very clever like that. However, when I wrap all the people's presents, I wrap them up in brown paper um, and I have a little bit of a theme, so last year it was all red and greens kind of thing, and this year I've gone more sage and gold. The gift tags I use, I, um, I've got an app, and it makes little po Polaroid pictures, um, which I send off, and they get come back, and they are the gift tags, so it, it reminds me of like a memory we've had together as a family, and it's just really, really neat, and also as well, you instantly know by looking at it who the present is. So... Going with that theme, I wanted some sage sage um, ribbons and these were like 3 99 for all these and this 30 in. I normally buy them from Amazon and um, so yeah, I was really impressed with that. So I've got like this sage green, which is my theme for my wrapping. To go along with this, I found some little bows because sometimes when you've got a little gift, those bows are a little bit big for those presents. So I like to wrap them up in little bows. These were 79p. Then to go with that, 
I got the matching like twine to go with it all and this was 79p as well and as you know I love um, robins and um, robins mean a lot to me especially at Christmas time um, and this was 79p so it looked really nice um, downstairs in the hallway um, next to a photograph of my grandma and granddad um, and yeah so I've got that then I picked up this decoration. I have a twig tree um, which I add little um, decorations to and this one's going to be added to that and this one says let it snow and it's a mitten and it has a Christmas tree on it and it was less than a pound and I just I just absolutely loved it. Then the next item I was like oh it's a gorgeous Christmas tree plate and it has a gingerbread house, it has um, stags and it says Merry Christmas. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use, with, use it with but I, I just, just fell in love with it and I cannot wait to have it out at Christmas. Then the next item is what Grace chose. Um, she has a little Christmas tree in her bedroom and it has lots of like ornaments which she just loves and she picked this bear up she just fell in love with it and um, it was one pounds 49 and it's it's really cute it's really furry so that i'll go on her like little christmas tree for her bedroom then the last items are autumn and halloween themed and i got this gorgeous pot and it has maple leaves all over it and it's in this really nice burnt orange and i just fell in love with it and i was like i'm never going to put a plant in it i'm not one of those kind of people plants and me just don't get on so i was like oh, what am i going to do with it and my mother-in-law went why don't you put your remotes in it because i've got a, a I've got a green pot at the moment which used to be a candle and um, it's not big enough to put all of them in and she knows how much I hate just having one remote on the side. It's, I mean first world problems I know but it's just an invitation so she's like why don't you put your remotes in there and I'm like yes so I'm going to use it to put all my remotes in um, so they're all there so yeah I think it was £2.29 something like that so yeah. And then I got some pumpkin little tea lights. These just flicker. Um, so yeah, to put in when we carve the pumpkins. So I got them. These were 79p. And then the last item I got was this gorgeous pumpkin um, dish. I just thought he was so cute. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have him out at Halloween and put a little few little bits in. Or I might actually like see if I can hold him up somewhere. Um, it has like a little hole here. I might actually hook it up somewhere. Um, who knows? But I just thought he needs to be added to my Halloween collection. So that was everything I got um, from a little shopping spree. Um, so now I'm going to make some lunch. So this is my lunch today. I've got a large speedy salad. It's got mixed leaves. It's got cabbage. It's got grated carrot. And then on top I've got a chicken breast which is free. And then I've got a tablespoon of the sweet chilli um, Aldi sauce which is one and a half cents. Then I've got um, some crisp breads which are one cent each. And then I have got two cents worth of extra light or the lightest of light um, Philly Delphia cheese. So that's my lunch for today. So I'm just making some slow cooker rice pudding to have as breakfast as this week so basically it's 114 grams of pudding rice and one litre of almond breeze unsweetened milk which is two A's and one cent for the remaining two 200 mils on low for three hours and yeah and then I don't ever sweeten it or put anything to it um, because then I can add f different flavourings and toppings when I use it yeah I'm all prepared so I'm just going to sit down now and have my afternoon um, snack. So I've got a black coffee with some sweetener in, in it. Then I've got an easy peeler which is speed food and some candy floss grapes which are free. My evening meal tonight is naked burgers I call it with, with chips, salad and um, corn on the cob. So let's go through with it. I've got a 3% fat uh, M&S burger. These are free on Summy Walt. I've got a slither of um, some Leon burger sauce let's count it as one sin um a tablespoon's four as you can see i've got a slither on it it's just what was left over from the boys' burger underneath it i've got 40 grams of cheese which is a healthy extra a then i've got slimming wood friendly chips which are just a potato cut up fry lighted and some smoked paprika done on top i've got a corn on the cob which is free then i've got a large speedy salad so it's got mixed leaves it's got um, tomatoes it's got um, cabbage and um, grated carrot then I've sprinkled it with some garlic salt and um, chilli salt um, and then I've sprinkled it as well with some chives and then this is brand new out, it's the Heinz made for veggies 
tomato and smoked paprika now this is currently not on the app but by going by the calories and the 20 cal rule and all that um, a tablespoon of this is one sin now i could be wrong until it gets on the app um so this is a friday find exclusive um and i've just had a lick of it and oh my goodness me it is amazing so i've got some of that to dip in my chips so yeah i cannot wait to dug into this so i've done my slow cooker rice puddings so they're just out there now cooling and once they've cooled i'll put the lids on and put them in the um fridge and then for my um, evening treat I'm not having it just yet I'm gonna have a hot chocolate which is the highlights which is two sins and then a sins worth of mini marshmallows on top and then um, a sins worth of light squirty cream and that's what I'll be ending my evening on so that was everything I've eaten this weekend hope you've enjoyed this vlog with the little holes attached to it as always and a huge positive thought see you soon bye